each one of us on this planet is going to be affected by the rapid and dramatic energy transition that is taking place. People are asking, how will it happen and when? At DMVGL, we have developed a detailed forecast of the energy future, and this is how we think it will unfold. In building our forecast to the year 2050, the first question we ask is, how much energy is the world's population likely to demand? The answer is surprising. Humanity's energy demand peaks at the year 2033, even though the world population continues to grow, and so does the global economy. So from the mid-2030s, all of us on this planet will start using less energy. How is that possible? The answer is rapid efficiency gains. Less and less energy will be required for more work. This is mainly because electricity, powered by ever more efficient renewables, is rapidly replacing wasteful fossil fuels. The green slope shows how rapidly that replacement is likely to take place. The area-coloured green represents non-fossil energy, solar, wind, hydro, biomass, nuclear and so on. At the starting point, in 2017, non-fossils are just 19% of the global energy mix. But by 2050, non-fossil sources will be nearly half of the energy mix. This big shift is driven by many transitions, but one of the more noticeable will be what happens with road transport. We predict that from 2024, light electric vehicles, or EVs, will be cheaper than internal combustion vehicles. And by 2032, half of all new light vehicles sold will be electric. The electrification of transport is one of the main reasons behind so-called peak oil. But there are many peaks in the energy transition. Coal use has already peaked. Oil is starting to give way to gas and to electricity, and will peak in the next decade. From that point, worldwide gas use will continue to increase for another 10 years or so, before peaking in 2033. Owing to its high cost, nuclear is not likely to grow much and in fact is likely to peak in 2030. The transition is going to be felt everywhere, even in maritime, a sector usually thought of as hard to decarbonise. We predict peak energy use in shipping in 2027 and that by 2038, half of maritime's energy will be non-oil. To learn more about the energy transition and the trends and technologies driving the transition, visit eto.dmvgl.com, where you can also download the data behind our forecast.